Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Theo here. Today we are going to do an oil change on my Cayman S Porsche right here behind me. So let's go. In order to do this oil change, we are going to do a few tools. First thing we are going to need is actual oil. I like to use liquid moly because it is great. I have used it on an M3, Mini Cooper, all type of BMWs and so far it is really good. So for the Porsche, I use the 0W40 viscosity. This oil, I got it from FCP Euro, actually all these things right here from FCP Euro. And the reason I like to get it from there is because they have this warranty return where anytime I'm doing an oil change like this time, I can return the old oil to them and they're going to give me my money back for this oil. So this oil change is actually going to be free. This is not a sponsored video. It's just, you know, the fact that I got this oil change for free. Now you're going to need also this cap. This is for the oil pan drain plug right here. You need that. You need a new crush washer. You are going to need this tool right here to remove the filter whenever you are doing the oil change. This is the new filter and it comes with a gasket also that you have to replace. Now, to do this, you actually do not need these two items right here. Now, the reason I got this is because this is the engine flush. Now, the reason you use the engine flush, you know, maybe after like four or five oil change, is just so that it can remove any gunk that has been created in your engine in the event that your engine had any type of gunk. Now, my car has about 40,000 miles, so I shouldn't have any gunk, but I just wanted to make sure that I remove any gunk, you know, that could be building up inside the engine. That's why I'm using this right here. And I'm gonna show you how to use this in a second. Now, the Ceratec right here, I use that to make sure that, you know, all the internal are being rubbed and kind of like waxed and prevent, you know, rubbing or friction for internal component that touch each other. This is going to ensure that there is not friction and prolong the longevity of the engine. This is a car that I want to keep for a long time and this product right here is an additive that you can put on the oil when you're filling up to make sure that the component inside your engine you know can stay for too long. Now you're also going to need this right here. You guys know what this is. This is the catch can. This is what's going to get the old oil and then after that I'm going to transfer it to like an old bottle. You're going to need this whenever you are filling up the oil. You're going to need an 8 millimeter hex to remove this, you know, drain plug from the oil pan. And you're going to need a torque wrench later on to torque everything back to spec. Now, I'm doing an oil change because I have an oil service light on. So I'm going to use like a tool like this to reset the service light on the back of the car. So let's go ahead now and start with this process. The first thing we want to do is to open the filler which for the Porsche is the one on the right side and we want to go ahead and dump the engine flush inside the oil so I'll go ahead and open it and we want to go ahead and dump it right here now let's go ahead and close the oil and then we want to let the engine run for about 10 minutes for the engine flush to mix with the oil that is inside the engine bay right now after that i'm going to let the car cool off a little bit and then i can start with draining the oil it has been about 30 minutes so i'm going to go now and try to drain the old oil this is the old drain plug that we need to remove using that eight millimeter hex so I'll go ahead and unscrew that Here is the filter, it's located on the driver's side, a little bit on the left side of the oil pan, kind of like next to, you know, the header section here. So you can see that the oil filter is one is right there. So the way you access it is really from the bottom right here. So I'm going to put a long extension and use that tool, make sure that I remove the oil filter. I'm going to film it for you just so that you can see but usually it gets messy because the location is not easily accessible and I'm not sure why Porsche decided to put the filter down there like that. It 
this gummy missing. All right. This is the filter. So I went ahead and took everything back under there with the new drain plug and crush washer to 37 foot pound of torque. And as you saw earlier, I removed this filter and now I'm simply going to dump all the oil that was inside the filter and remove also the old filter like that. So now what we have to do is pretty much clean up the inside a little bit, rem remove this little gasket here, replace it with a new one and then install the new filter in there, add a little bit of oil and mount everything back in the car. We are also going to torque this one and the torque spec for this is 17 foot pound. Now that we clean up the oil filter pan, now we want to go ahead and remove this oil gasket. So you can use a small screwdriver, remove it like that. This is oil and this is the new one. Before we put the new one, we want to use a little bit of the new oil to kind of like rub it there just so that it doesn't break when we place it back. And then after that, we want to go ahead and place it back in the same groove. Oops. Goes. And there you go. Once we have it like that, we can take the new filter right here. And I remember that the marking was on top. This marking was on top. So I want to go ahead and place it and then put a little bit of the new oil inside here like this. Just a tiny bit so that on the first start, you know, you have some oil that should be enough. And then after that, we want to go ahead and mount everything again. We're going to torque this to 17 foot pound of torque. Now that we have secure everything down there and clean up, we want to go ahead and add eight quart into the engine bay. So I can use a funnel to do that. But the way Porsche has done it is that that port right there is looking like a funnel. So I'm going to try to just add without the funnel. But if I see that I might create a mess, I have a few rag right here that I'm going to set up to kind of catch any excess oil that might drip into the car. Before I add the remaining three, I want to go ahead and add the Ceratec. The reason I add the Ceratec right now is because I want the extra three quarts to kind of be on top so that the mixture can be, you know, done pretty well between you know, the oil before the engine actually runs. So I'm going to go ahead and add the Ceratec right now into the engine. It's looking a little bit with this color. So, and it's not a lot. This is all you need. Now I can add the remaining three quart. So what I'm going to do is add only two, start up the engine, check the level. And if I need to add, then I'll go ahead and add the last one quart. Sometimes it takes like seven and a half or eight. So I don't want to overfill. That's why I want to make sure I, starting at seven, I see the level and then I adjust the quantities that I add re in regards of what the computer is going to tell me in a second. Now that the oil level is good, we can plug in this Foxwell code reader into the OBD port right here on the bottom and go to Porsche, hit enter. And I will do manual selection. And then select the type of car that I have, which is a Cayman 981 right here. Enter. We want to go to special function. And as you can see, there's oil reset. We want to go ahead and select that. Reset maintenance interval. And we want to do F3 for OK. We want to select all by pressing F1. And then we do OK. Now is the time that you have to go ahead and enter today's date. So let me go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do complete and the maintenance has been reset now we just do okay and we can get out of here so now if i start the car i'm no longer going to have that oil change light on my car so i can go ahead now and unplug the obd and the job is done as you can see with the simple tools you can go ahead and do this job yourself it's not because it's a Porsche that the oil change procedure is different. A lot of people like to go to the dealership just to kind of have that peace of mind. But if you are a handyman, you can do this job on any car. I just show you that it's simple enough to do by just removing the filter, draining the oil, 
putting everything back together and adding more oil into the car as simple as that and using a tool to reset the light so on this note i will go ahead and see you on the next video if you like this content make sure that you subscribe to the channel and see you on the next video bye bye